Next topic, which is utilizing on-chain data for DeFi analytics, allowed me to introduce on stage Mr. Braden Abridge, founder and CTO. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Braden. I'm the CTO and founder of Rockport. Um, it's super exciting to be here uh, presenting a workshop. I myself am a hacker, so usually I'm on the other side of this, not up here. Um, one fun fact is Blockcore, as a company, was actually born out of a hackathon. Um, so I'm super excited to see what you all build. I think it's a really great opportunity to meet other people um, and build some super cool stuff. Uh, so the topic of, of this workshop is utilizing on-chain data for DeFi analytics. Um, and so we can go through some of these slides here. So the first question is, what is Blockcore and what do we do? Um, at a very high level, Blockcore is an on-chain data and analytics company. Uh, we provide on-chain events, on-chain transfers, um, and a lot of our specialization right now is around decentralized exchanges. Um, and so if we look at some of the different problems that Blockcore is trying to solve, um, we can see the first one being data asymmetry and fragmentation. Um, and so right now, if you look at aggregated cross-chain data, you can see different DEXs like Uniswap, SushiSwap, um, etc. And all these different DEXs and all these different platforms are essentially competing with each other for liquidity. Um, this is ultimately a bad user experience uh, for people who are trying to interact with these different applications. Um, the more sources of liquidity that are that are segmented, that are they're segmented, um, basically means that users have to have to pick or choose which DEX they use, um, or they could use an aggregator like One Inch or Matcha. Um, and so what Blockboard does is we basically pull all this information into one source, one dashboard. Um, and allow users to see all this data in one place without having to use several different platforms. The second problem that Blockboard is solving is around latency uh, with data. Um, and so as traders in the space, there's a lot of opportunity to build smart contracts to do things like arbitrage. Um, and so with Blockboard, we offer WebSocket APIs, um, also RESTful APIs as well. Um, and so you can basically get live data from all these different sources of decentralized exchanges across all the different ecosystems that we support. Um, and this data comes in, in real time as well. Uh, the third problem that, that Blockcore is solving is unreliable data feeds. Um, and so what this basically means is a lot of existing data providers out there are using third-party APIs. Um, so you've probably seen data providers use things like CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap uh, or Binance data. Um, for Blockcore, all of our data is derived on-chain. Um, so everything you see on the platform, everything you see on the APIs, uh, we're deriving all that information ourselves. Um, and we don't use any type of third party or centralized uh, data provider. So if we go over the solution and, and what essentially Blockcore is and, and, and what we've built, um, there's a couple different points here. So the first point is around our indexing infrastructure. Um, and so basically at a very high level, Blockcore runs uh, archive nodes and all the different networks that we support. Um, and so on the right hand side, you can see the different networks that we support. So we support Phantom, Avalanche, Arbitrum, BNB Chain, Optimism, Moonbeam, Polygon, and a few others. Um, and we basically run nodes on all these different networks. And as events and as transactions get mined, uh, we basically extract certain segments of events from these different networks, um, and we feed them straight into our APIs. So as a user, you can instantly see data across all these different networks in one place. Um, so instead of having to query Ethereum and Phantom separately, um, with Block where you can see everything all at the exact same time. Um, the second point here is around multi-chain data aggregation and UI. Um, and so as a user, if you want to see what's happening on the Ethereum network, um, you might have to go to one website and you can get information about events happening on Ethereum. Um, with Blockcore, as I said earlier, everything is aggregated in one place. So with our APIs, you can actually see the price of wrapped Ethereum across all these networks um, instead of just seeing it on one network or the other. Um, the third point is vertically integrated node ops. Um, so one of the, one of the, the power sources of, of Blockcore as a company is, as I mentioned, the fact that we run our own node infrastructure. Um, so we run archive nodes ourselves, which gives us full access uh, to all this data in real time. Um, and we're also able to query data going back to the Genesis block. So Uniswap in 2018, we would have data. We'd have data in 2019. Um, and so if you're a trader and you want to back, back test trading strategies, you'd be able to use our APIs to basically see historic data and historic trades as well. And so if we look at some of the different things that you could do with Blockcore, build Blockcore, you could obviously take a look at our app, uh, which is app.blockcore.com. And this is basically our representation of what we're doing with our data. 
Um, obviously, for the hackathon, you are all welcome to build any type of, of application that you want. Um, but our front end might give you some ideas of some different things that you could do with, with the data. Um, so we have a couple points here. Obviously, asset prices, uh, swaps and transactions, liquidity pool events, token transfer data, and also real time and historical statistics. Um, and so on the right hand side, you could see a sample widget on Blockboard that we built. Um, and this is all using the APIs that we have. So you could build price charts, you could build live trade uh, tables, you could build live liquidity pool actions. Um, you could also show things like liquidity pools um, and kind of how different traders are interacting with these different on chain assets. So, what can I build with Block for, for the hackathon? Um, and so, there's obviously tons of ideas. We, we, we've offered a, a couple here. So, um, obviously, around visualizations. So, as you've seen on our app, um, you're all welcome to build your own visual, visualization or your own application or front end with our data. Um, you can build some tools for liquidity analysis. Um, there's also some opportunities for building some smart contract arbitrage bots around our data as well. Um, I know that one inch had just had just gone over some of their stuff that, that they're doing for the hackathon. Uh, there could be some cool opportunities, obviously, to integrate some of that stuff into what Blockboard is doing with our data. Um, to obviously, make trades or build trades on top of that as well. So here's a sample API demo. Um, so we have our API publicly available. We deployed it for this hackathon specifically. Um, and so you can view our API at blockboard.readme.io. Um, we can also provide a link for that afterwards. Um, we have a couple of really basic rate limits right now. Um, we could obviously open these up as well if there's certain teams that need to make more, more requests. Uh, there's currently no API key required, uh, so there should be no blockers to start using our API. You should just be able to go to the API site and start making requests right away. Um, one caveat here is some of the endpoints are cached. Um, so some of the historic endpoints themselves, we will be caching the data on them. Um, we will outline which endpoints are cached so you as a user can, can get familiar with that. Um, and then on the right-hand side, we have a very simple example of, of one source of data that you could, you could use, um, which is basically an on-chain transfer event. And so I think most of us here are familiar with the unfortunate collapse of FTX. Um, and during the collapse of FTX, there was a lot of interesting on-chain movements of funds moving between FTX, between Binance, between Alameda. Um, and so with Blockboard, we actually analyzed on-chain transfer events as well. Um, and so you as a hacker could actually use our on-chain transfers and start building some interesting visualizations or some interesting tables about how these different entities are sending funds across these different networks. And so on the right-hand side, we have a sample object of, of a transfer event. And so we have things like the time of the transfer, the block number, the token that was transferred, the receiver and the sender, uh, the network, and then also the entity names as well. Um, so you can see things like an FTX to a Binance or an Alameda to a Binance, um, and we would be able to, to derive all this information for you. And then, yeah, finally, we have a, a link to the API there as well for the QR code. Um, we also have a booth here set up, uh, so if anybody has questions 